What's good, everybody? So recently I posted a video on my Instagram of a beat that I made when I was sitting in the car. Actually, I didn't make it when I was driving. You know, I made it when I was sitting still in the car and then I videoed when I was driving. Although, I mean, that's kind of like a viral video. You know what I'm saying, making beats while driving. Don't do that. Although in my profession, I wouldn't count that out as something I'd wind up seeing somebody crash doing. So anyway, so I wanted to break down that beat uh, that I made in the car because I think it's kind of fire. So in this beat, I used a sample from Ill Mind's Tunes From Above. It's a sample pack he released recently. I think it's uh, Anointed Ones. So yeah. I heard that, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta do something with that. So what I ended up doing is I pitched it up. Uh, I liked the tempo, the tempo's at 140, so I kept the tempo the same, but I pitched it up a little bit, and it sounds like. So after I heard that sample, I wanted to build a melody around it, and the first thing that I could think of to add was horn, so. I added uh, some horns from the Brass Essential plugin from Native Instruments, and here's what they sound like. So that alongside the sample sounds like... Right. Uh, so then after that, I uh, thought about obviously, you know, you got to have some type of orchestral element. You know, you got a choir, you got the horns. So now uh, add in some violins in there. So I just kind of wanted staccato violins to kind of carry uh, the choir and the horns. So I kind of made, you know, a staccato violin. I used the same chord progression as the horns, and it sounds like. These strings are from Analog Strings by Output. Uh, they got a lot of really good string instruments in there. Uh, I'm looking forward to, I, I keep forgetting that I need to get um, the brass plug-in from Output, uh, cause that just sounds, sounds fire. So I gotta jump on that soon. But anyways, uh, here's the brass and the um, staccato violins together. that in with the sample so it sounded pretty nice there is a baseline sample uh, in the in the kit and I liked the progression I liked the sound it's kind of like a, uh, a retro bass and I just decided to just pitch that up and keep it the way it was and let the baseline follow the rest of the uh, the track because it's, it's pretty good the way it is. So the only thing I did to this is just pitched it up and uh, chopped it down a little bit. And that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I, I just like the way that it sounds and gives a nice feel. So there's this other little bell sample that's included in the, in the stems and it's uh that up and I kind of chopped this up a little bit throughout the beat so it goes something simple like that that's pretty much it as far as the instrumentation goes I like the way it kind of turned out. Now what I normally do with drum kits that I acquire is that I'll, I'll download a new drum kit, I'll kind of go through the entire thing, kind of pick out sounds that I like, 
and save those groupings so that you know if there's a certain type of song that I'm making that has a certain feel, I can just say uh, bring up the the uh, that drum kit because I know that I already have sounds that I liked and I already dug through them. Instead of like having to dig through a thousand snares to try to find a certain snare, I'll dig through groupings that I've already saved. So for instance, one of the black kits, I knew I wanted like live hi hats, and Black Kits 10 has a bunch of different hi hats that I liked. And so like I grouped 16 different hi-hats and brought that up and I kind of found a grouping that I liked. So I found that grouping and then I knew that I had saved another kit with these shouts in it. So I think that's from Decap Drums. Then I knew that I had saved an open hat in another kit. So like I knew where that kit was and this, uh, this snare. Like I kind of wanted that as an accent. So what I'll end up doing is like I'll pick out, I'll load up all these drum kits that I've saved and find the sounds in each one of those kits. You see on, you know, in, in machine, you know, you have all these different groupings, right? So I've used hi-hats from this and I've used shouts from this, you know, all kinds of, and I've used like the kick and snare from, you know, this grouping that I put together. So what I'll do is like every sound that I've used, I'll copy it and make an entire another group, which is what I did over here. I'll make another grouping and I'll paste and it copies all of the attributes from the, the kit that you just took it from into here. So like your sound, your audio levels and any, any adjustments that you've made, it copies that entire thing into a new track. So as to not clutter up the entire screen with groups, you know, once I find pretty much, you know, everything that I want to use, I will copy and paste each sound that I've used from each one of these groups into an entire new group, which is what I've done here. So there's a total of eight sounds that I got from four different kits. So let's go ahead and just delete all these. Free up some space. I've got all the drums. And uh, here's what the drums sound like by themselves. So that's pretty much that's pretty much all I've done so far. It's, I mean, it's not completed, but it's about there. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be much that I'm going to add. So I'm going to send this out to a couple of different people that I have on the list, uh, some guys that I want to hear rap on it. So, but again, this sample is from Tunes from Above from Illmind, BlackKids.com. If you want to get that, the drums are from Nocturnal Drums Volume Four. Uh, this it's also Black Kids Volume Ten and Decat Drums Volume. Three, uh, those are all the drums that I uh, I used in here. So yeah, just a short little video explaining a, a, a beat that I made when I was in the car. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there that I do during the week. You know, like uh, anytime I'm I'm sitting here, it's not always convenient to set up the camera and microphones and all this other stuff. I, sometimes I don't have a lot of time for that. So. Um, most of the time I, I like to post stuff on Instagram so follow me on Instagram you can find it down in the description below if you want to keep with me on the on the daily stuff so see stuff from work and whatever whatever else is going on in, in my life so yeah this is the beat check it out thanks for watching I'll see y'all peace